everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Why don't you stand to your feet and just give God a hand clap of praise? And I said give God a hand clap of praise, not Minister Jones a hand clap of praise. We are so glad that you have chosen to come out on tonight and think it not robbery to come and celebrate with us on this evening. So you all know why we're here, right? Some of y'all still sleep? I said, you all know why we're here, right? So the reason we're here is because we've come to do nothing but have unrestrained worship. We ain't on no time schedule. Now, we ain't going to be here all night. But we ain't on no time schedule. And wherever the Spirit comes in, we're going to let him have his way. All right? Is that all right? That's all right. So our theme scripture for this uh, night of worship is Psalms 150. Verse 6 was our key verse, but I'm going to read the whole chapter. Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and harp. Praise him with the cymbal and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud sounding cymbals. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Now we're gonna do a little, a little breath test. Hold your hand up in front of your face and blow on it. Just pull your mask down a little bit and blow on your hand. Now if, if you didn't feel nothing, then we need to get you to tremble or somebody. But if you in here and you felt that breath on your hands, the, the word just told us that let everything that has breath praise the Lord. I do ask that you keep standing. Uh, I'm going to bring the Levites now out. If you all would just come and get in place. Don't they look good? As they're coming, Minister Cornell is going to lead us in prayer and then we're going right into worship. Come on, God is worthy to be praised. God is worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. Come on, the Bible says, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Come on, if you got breath in your body, then you qualify to give God some praise in his house tonight. Hallelujah. 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 Let us pray. Father God, we come this evening, Lord God, on a Friday night to give you nothing but total praise. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity just to breathe this, this evening, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for the opportunity just to share in, in praise and worship with the Levites tonight, Lord God. Father God, we thank you for the man of this house, Bishop William L. Shields, right now, Lord God. Father God, we pray that a song be said, song tonight that will change someone's situation. We pray that a song will be said tonight or a word will be spoken tonight that will change someone's situation. So God, right now, we give you praise right now for who you are and what you've done for us and what you're going to do for us. God, we lift you up right now. And this is in the precious name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. Did we come to worship the Lord tonight? Hallelujah. Strong and mighty, 
the house today. Hallelujah. Did you welcome him into your heart today? Hallelujah. And say, welcome in, God. Welcome in, God. Do what you want to do. Hallelujah. Do what you want to do today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For he is my way maker. Hallelujah. My healer. My redeemer. Hallelujah. Give him glory in the house today. Hallelujah. Give him glory in the place today. For he alone is worthy to receive glory and honor. Who is this king of glory? The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God strong and mighty. The Lord God strong and mighty. Mighty in battle. Mighty in healing. Mighty in strength. We worship you today, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 came out to give him glory tonight. Come on, we give him all the glory. We give him all the honor. Hallelujah. So we say glory, glory, glory to the Lamb.
on somebody and give him glory. Come on somebody and give him honor. He's worthy. Hallelujah, he's worthy. There's none like you, Jesus. Glory to your name, oh God. Come on, if you lift him, he'll draw. Come on, if you lift him, he'll draw. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to your name. There's none like you, Jesus. There's none like your Father. Glory to the Lamb. Glory to the Lamb. Hallelujah, Jesus. That's a good place to put a praise on it. That's a good place to put a praise on it. Nobody worthier than the Lamb. Nobody deserves the honor or the glory but the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I will lift my eyes to where my help comes from. And I won't be afraid of the shadow because I've seen the sun. I will not stop when my way gets hard. Because the green only grows in the valley and that's where you I shall not want, I shall not want, for my soul's not a shepherd in the valley, and I shall not. I will lift my eyes to where my help comes from. I won't be afraid of the shadow because I've seen the sun. I will not stop when my way gets hard. Because the green only grows in the valley and that's where Burn! 
got saved how you was just so excited you, it seemed like every time the church door opened you wanted to be in church and then as long as you continue to stay in church sometimes we get a little slowful I know I ain't by myself but then you had an experience and something happened and God had to wake you up and then the worship that you used to have it became real again. Is there anybody in here that has real worship? Anybody in here that has real true praise? And the one thing about it is, is that your praise and your worship should not be dictated upon your circumstance. Because even if all hell has broke out, you still ought to have a praise on your lips and a, a praise in your dance. And if you really think about it, sometimes our deliverance comes within our praise. And so we got to praise God even when things don't look right. When the doctor has given us a bad diagnosis or we don't know how the bills are going to be played or where the next meal is coming from. But when you really think about how real your worship is, that's when your faith kicks in. And you are like the three Hebrew boys that even if God does not deliver me, he's still able. Does anybody know that he's able? Oh, come on, don't play with me. Does anybody know that God is able? When I can't make a way for myself, God is able. You don't know my story. All the things that I've been through. You can't feel my pain. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 Is for real. Oh, my worship, my worship is for real. You don't know, you don't know my story. All the things that, All the I, things that I've been through. What I had to go through to get here. You're 
never understand my prayer. You'll never understand my prayer. Don't try to figure it out. Don't try to figure it out. Because, because my worship, my worship, my worship is for real. My worship is for me. My 
on your feet with that one. That's a leave that original there. Come on. sing that three more times, but just take a breath. Why they are, if you feel for five minutes, five minutes, five minute break, if you feel the need to come to the altar on Wednesday night, we concluded our study on worship until here, Shabbat, and Yah, and Adad. And, and we worshiped and we praised and we, we, we ended at the Lord's table with the napkin. Those of you who didn't tune in, you'll, you'll get a snippet of it on every Sunday. Hints of the napkin that Jesus covered his head and his face with and why. If you feel a need to come to the altar, just for a few minutes, bring it to the Lord in prayer. If you feel a need to, Bring it to the Lord in prayer. If you feel the need to come to the altar, you can come now. Just come now. Whatever, you, whatever your need is, whether it's physical, spiritual, or financial, come to the altar just now. Come just now. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. Choir, the Levites, the priest ministry said, we have not because we ask not. But here's the time to ask on a Friday night. Yes. To bring it to the Lord. You said, well, I was going to do it Sunday morning. Well, you may not make it to Sunday morning with this world. Let the Lord hear from you now. Maybe you don't need have a need. Your need has been already answered, but you have a thanksgiving in your heart. Your thanksgiving is, Father, I just thank you for another day's journey. When I woke up this morning, 
I didn't have any doubt in my heart. But Father, I struggled and I made it through the day. I made it anyway. Father, I made it through the through the cold rain, through the storm. I made it, I made it through the ups and downs. And now I'm here laying it at the altar. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything, every need, every praise, every worship, every thanksgiving to God. Spirit of the living God, we have come to the altar tonight with unrestricted, unrestrained, unrehearsed praise. We've come to say thank you. Thank you for another day's journey. Thank you. Thank you, Father, for keeping us safe thus far through this pandemic, through, through tours and tribulations, through problems and concerns. Thank you. And while we're at the altar, Father, some of us brought our tears. Some of us brought our needs. Some of us brought our hurts. Some of us brought our pains. Some of us brought our need for healing. In the name of Jesus, we know you as a healer. We thank you for being a healer. Now, Father, in the name of Jesus, before I close this prayer and the Levites come back, I feel a need to bind Satan. Those of you who are logged in tonight, those of you who are logged in and you didn't make your way here, then I pray that you're feeling the Spirit moving in your homes like we feel it here moving in the sanctuary. But, but, but maybe, maybe, this, maybe Satan just needs to be bound we want to find Satan. We think, we, we're thinking now of Chris Gibbons, who would be here tonight, Father, if he could, Father. And he's in the hospital. And many others, uh, Elder Frazier, those others who would be here, many who would be here, if they could. But we're here. I got to bind Satan. I got to bind him. 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 Satan, I rebuke you right now and I bind you. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are bound by the blood of Jesus. You have been stopped in your track. Satan, we're going to shout, don't mess with me. No, 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 don't mess with me. No, 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 no weapon, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Don't mess with me. We are royal priesthood. Don't mess with me. Touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm. Don't mess with me. You are bound right now. In the name of Jesus, we're going to leave the altar, but not your presence. And as we go back to our seats and we prepare to continue to worship in song and praise, we are grateful. It is in Jesus' name. Every prayer has been answered. Every prayer, every need has been met. Every prayer has been answered. Every need has been, every prayer has been answered. Every need has been met. Give God a praise offering in the house if you will please him. Now, because we're scattered out in here, I, and, and, and I, want, I want some praise. I want some response. Uh, you may rest your mask if you, if you feel comfortable. It's, it's optional. You can rest your mask if you're comfortable. Let's praise God. Rest your mask if you're comfortable. Let's praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Remember the flu is all around.
simply say so I'll simply say
mighty blessing. You're worthy, you're worthy, oh God. There's none like you, Jesus. I've searched all over, couldn't find no one like you. I love you, I love you. Satisfied with you. Satisfied with you. Oh, satisfied with you. I will be satisfied with you. Mm -hmm. I will trust. In the Lord, yes, yes. all my days, all my days, I will trust in the Lord, all my days, all my days, and I will be satisfied. With you. Yes. If you tell me to go left, I will be satisfied with you. If you tell me to go right, I will be satisfied with you. Oh Lord, I will be satisfied with you. Now y'all start. trust in the Lord all my days, all my days, 
I will trust in the Lord all my days, all my days, and I will be satisfied with you. Oh, I will be satisfied with you. Lord, I will be satisfied with you. Lord, I will be satisfied with you. Lord,
moving on. We moving on. How many folks is actually trusting in the Lord? Is there anybody in here that's trusting in the Lord? Sometimes we want to go to the left and the Lord has told us to go to the right. But yet he's still keeping us even when we don't do right. will trust your word. You have complete control. Lord, I will be satisfied with you. Mm -hmm. Where you lead, I'll go. I will trust your word. Control, and I will be satisfied with you. Can you help me sing? Anybody in the house that's waiting on some promises? There's been some things that God promised you, and you think that it's not going to come to pass because it didn't come when you thought it was supposed to come to pass. There's some things that God promised you a long time ago. And because it hasn't happened, you think that that dream has died. Well, we just stopped by to let you know at 182 Hunter Street that you shall live and not die. The one thing that I like about the Lord is that even though sometimes I may be delayed, but I'm never denied. Has anybody ever been delayed? Sometimes we go to the airport and our flights are delayed. Sometimes we go to the, the McDonald's or the Burger Kings and our orders are delayed. And sometimes we go to the school to pick up our kids and the kids are delayed because they're running around talking. But it's one thing about the Lord. That if he told you that it's going to come to pass, he's not a man that he should lie. Yeah. 
drama song. what they do. God Almighty Jesus the Christ. I, that, that, one, that one song, I'm, I'm, I'm serious about that. I'm, I'm serious about that. I mean, I mean, that, that, that Jesus, that Jesus, yeah, 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 you know what? Take it to the Lord in prayer. Take it to the Lord in prayer. <laughs> All right, Brenda. Some people cannot. All right, Brenda. Because they can't. All right, Brenda. We get ready to go, we get ready to go home now. Take it to your altar in prayer at home. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> That's it, that's me. 
Greg is speaking. I spoke it. Let's do this. I know you're tired, and, and uh, thank you for coming from your workplace and coming out and uh, through the cold and the dreary rain, those who came out, those you love. And I'm going to prophetically speak on you that because we entered in a spirit of unrestricted worship and praise to the glory of God, that God bless everyone long and everyone came out tonight with whatever you brought to this meeting, this, this praise meeting. Whenever we come together, we ought to come together expecting. And you should have come with great expectations tonight. Not just to clap your hands and shout and, and, and support the Levites, but you should have come expecting. And if you didn't get it, it's not because the Spirit of God was not here. If you didn't receive it, it's not because God wasn't ready to, uh, to give a promise for every problem. For every problem, there is a promise. You believe that. Believe that. Now we're going to go home, and I thank God for you. Bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Look into heaven for the benediction until we meet again. And uh, those discipleship, uh, Zoom at 11 o'clock, graduation tomorrow, and uh, Bible Institute as well, graduation, and then marching on Sunday, and some other Zoom. I got God bless you in Jesus' name. Let's do this. And now unto that same who was. May he bless these his children, now his fourth and four. God bless you. We love you. Good night. Drive home safely. <laughs>